Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And today's video is basically gonna be kind of like a continuation of the last couple of videos or so that I did. If you've been watching the channel, you know I've had part one and part two of my stained glass medals uh, already. And this one is to kind of help aid that, as well as to provide a lot of you guys a really good skeleton and basis uh, for generic setups for every single Keyblade in the game for utilizing the new stained glass metals, okay? So kind of like I just mentioned a little bit right now, what I'm essentially going to be doing in this entire video is providing you guys the best skeleton setup so that way even you guys at home can copy these if you really wanted to and you can insert your own individual medals too the only thing that these setups are gonna be using for the entire video is just Kyron shuni x stained glass medals and copy medals and uh in case you're wondering why it has to go along like i mentioned in my last video how every single keyblade in the game already has predetermined strategies that are completely determined by the meta buffer and debuffer medals as well as copy medals um, and because of this, it's really easy to show you guys these setups and whatnot. So throughout this whole video, uh, I'm going to be giving you guys the best setups and skeletons that you guys can use. And hopefully you guys can take away from it. What I'll also be doing as well is I'll be leaving some timestamps down in the description below. So that way, if you just want to know about a specific Keyblade that you're interested in using, you can just jump straight into different parts of the video for you, get, for you to go ahead and take a look at. So one thing I'm also going to be doing for this video is just like I mentioned in my last video, the, the Banner Advice Stained Glass Part 2 video, just like I mentioned in there how uh, there is different possible scenarios that you guys might end up being in. The three of them being that one, you only have one stained glass medal and you don't have Kyrie or Shioni X. The second being that you have a stained glass medal and you're using it with Kyrie and Shioni X. And the third being that you're using just two stained glass medals. I'll be providing the best setup for each of these categories throughout this entire video. So just as a quick reminder, every single setup that you guys are going to see in this video are already listed in my spreadsheet that I had listed in the last video, the, the stained glass metal part two video. I'll also be leaving the link to that page again down below. So if you want to go check that out and make it easy for yourself and whatnot. But all the setups I'm using are going to be straight from here. And I'll be going one by one through every single Keyblade uh, in this list. All right, so going in order, starting with the Starlight. For the first category, if you're using just one stained glass metal, this is going to be the best general skeleton that you can use for the Starlight. So in case you don't understand how this setup works, uh, just a quick recap because this concept is going to be applying throughout the entire video for every single setup I show you. The concept that I'm about to review for you guys is going to be the exact same for all of these setups that I provide in this video. So just as a quick recap as to how this works, okay? The whole point of copy metals is that they become an exact copy uh, aside from the guilt percentage of the metal that they're copying. Okay, so that means that this HD nominee right here, which is a forward copy metal, which means that it copies the next metal after it, it's going to become an exact copy of whatever is next to it. So in this case, uh, this metal image coming soon right here in the second slot, this is simply a placeholder for this setup right here for the speed upright stained glass metal, which I'm assuming is stained glass number five. But in this case, because of the fact that this stained glass metal is a speed upright metal, this HD nominee will be copying uh, this metal right here and become a speed upright metal herself and have the same multipliers as this stained glass metal as well and every single copy metal in the game is like this they copy the metals attribute as well as the metals multiplier the only thing that copy metals do not copy are its strength and defense stats as well as its guilt percentage that is the only thing that it does not copy a copy metal uses its own strength and defense stats as well as its own guilt percentage so in knowing this okay i hope this setup becomes a little bit clear this hd nominate is going to become an exact copy of the stained glass uh the speed upright stained glass hd shion is going to become an exact copy of whatever this speed upright metal right here is going to be as well as this key art beginnings is going to become an exact copy of whatever this speed upright slot is going to be okay so knowing this this right here for using just one stained glass metal is going to be one of the best setups for the starlight now you could use another nominee metal right here in the fist slot if you really wanted to but 
realistically because of the fact that when using the stained glass medals you're most likely already going to be uh, fulfilling all of the debuff requirements including general defense down the only debuff requirements that you have left is going to be the upright or reverse debuffs in the game so for example if we were to go for the ideal uh, the ideal medal that you would have in slot 4 for the starlight using this setup is going to be key art 16 ex plus primarily because of the fact he provides minus two upright debuffs. And because of the fact that HD Shion is copying the Key Art 16, that gives you another minus two upright debuffs. And since Key Art Beginnings is copying Key Art 16, that's another minus two upright debuffs. So for a total of minus six upright debuffs. And then what you would wanna do in the spirit slot is have your strongest speed upright metal uh, in this in the spirit slot and remember at the very least this right here is going to be the base skeleton that you can use uh, in general and it would just I can guarantee you it would be a great setup now what if we're using Kyrie Shion EX in the setup well uh, coincidentally and it ends up being almost exactly the same thing to be honest um, you just replace the nominee medal in the first slot with the Kyrie or Shion EX preferably Kyrie because it matches the exact same attributes as the slot for a little bit extra more damage but it, it, like if you if you only have Sh shion that's perfectly okay but it's gonna be the exact same thing to be honest and you can do the exact same thing as you would for just one stained glass metal and the ideal setup for two stained glass metals in the starlight is of course going to be stained glass number one which is going to be in slot one uh, as well as stained glass number five which i'm assuming is the speed upright stained glass in slot two and then you have to have the hd not uh, shion over here to make sure and guarantee the fact that this third slot ends up becoming an upright slot because of the fact that hd shion is going to be copying an upright speed metal so hd shion herself is going to become an upright metal and be able to take advantage of the upright buffs that these stained glass metals provide us right there Moving on to the treasure trove. If we're using just one stained glass metal, this is the setup that we're going to end up wanting to use. Now, because of the way the treasure trove is organized in terms of slot organization, uh, this ends up being the best setup. Uh, we're going to have Dark Riku over here copy the stained glass metal right here, which is fantastic because Riku Replica is currently the strongest copy metal in the game, simply because of the fact it's tier 8. So that ends up being really good for the treasure trove. And then what you want to do in slots 3 and 4 down here is try and fulfill that upright debuff if possible with metals such as like uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX Plus and a copy metal such as Key Art Sky. All right, so now if we're using just one stained glass metal with a Kyrie or Shion EX, this is the setup that we're going to want to end up using. All right, now depending on the situation, you might have to end up flip flopping uh, stained glass number three with the Kyrie or Shion EX, uh, and I'll explain that in a second. But in general, you're going to want the key or the stained glass number three in the first slot for max damage, and then you would just have the Kyrie Shion EX in slot two to help uh, pick up the slack that. Uh, the stained glass metal is lacking in. And then just like if you're using just one stained glass metal, you'll have your copy metal copying a speed upright slot. In this case, I chose Riku Replica, but you can still use HD Shion if you wanted to as well. Uh, Re Riku Replica would just be a little bit better uh, because of the fact that you could probably copy like a Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX Plus if you had one right there, for example. The only thing I want to point out about this setup is that if you happen to be doing Coliseum with the Treasure Trove using this setup, you're going to actually want to swap places uh, between the Kyrie and Riku and that is solely because of the fact that once you start hitting the higher stages of Colosseum your Riku if it's in the first slot isn't going to be doing any more damage anymore and because of the fact that Kyrie over here will end up filling the rest of the debuffs that you need uh, she'll do damage um, but she's not the damage metal we want so in that case what we end up want to do is actually swap them so that way Kyrie EX over here is going to be the one that does no damage, which is fine because she's literally just purely a pure uh, buffer, main buffer and de uh, debuffer metal anyways. And then that way, the stained glass metal will end up filling the rest of the debuffs that we need and he'll do actual damage for us because he's in the second slot. Uh, that's the only thing you got to keep in mind for the treasure trove and some of the other keyblades have this type of thing too that you got that you got to do all right so for using two stained glass metals on the treasure trove uh it should be fairly obvious that because the whole thing is power and there's only two different attributes on this treasure trove which is upright and reverse you're obviously going to be using the upright version for slot one which is uh stained glass number three and the reverse version for slot two 
which is stained glass number four. From there, you honestly don't really have to worry about too much else. You can fill the rest of the Keyblade with any other power metal you want, and this setup will work just fine. Uh, which should make sense because stained glass number four over here provides all of the reverse buffs for us, as well as stained glass number three provides all of the upright buffs for us. So even if we have a normal reverse metal right here in the fifth slot, uh, that's not a copy metal, it'll still be just fine because of the fact that this uh, stained glass number four is here to provide those reverse buffs. Alright, so moving on to the next Keyblade, it's going to be the Lady Luck. Now, if we're using just one stained glass metal on the Lady Luck, the stained glass metal that we're going to want to use is stained glass number 6, which I'm assuming is going to be the Speed Reverse stained glass metal. And the primary reason for this is solely because of, just like I mentioned in my last videos, because of the copy metals in the game. Even though the Lady Luck has upright slots, because of the fact we just don't have any speed reverse copy metals in the game, it is impossible to make any type of pure upright strategy that doesn't suffer uh, from lack of damage using the Lady Luck. So, in order to make the most of the Keyblade, we have to use a reverse setup for the Lady Luck, which is the reason why we're using Stained Glass number 6, uh, again, which is a, which I'm assuming is going to be the Speed Reverse Metal, which is what this metal image coming soon is supposed to represent. So, from looking at that, I hope this becomes obvious. Uh, Bond over here copies this slot. Antiform Sora over here copies this slot. They both become reverse metals when they end up copying those slots, which is the whole reason why this is a reverse setup. If you want to use Kyrie or Shion EX with one of the stained glass metals, it's almost going to be exactly the same exact thing, to be honest. Uh, the only difference is you're going to put Kyrie Shion EX in the first slot, like I have shown right here, and you're going to put stained glass number six in the second slot, where he'll actually do more damage because he's actually in a reverse slot, which matches his attribute. And of course, if you're using two stained glass metals, uh, just like you saw for Treasure Trove, it's going to be the same exact thing for Lady Luck. You're going to have the uh, stained glass number five, which I'm assuming is the speed up right stained glass, uh, right here in the first slot. That's what this metal image is coming soon is. And you're going to have the speed reverse stained glass right here in the second slot, which I'm assuming is stained glass number six. All right, so moving on to three wishes. If you're using just one stained glass metal using three wishes, this is the setup that you're going to end up wanting to use. Just like how it was for Treasure Trove and Lady Luck, because of the lack of copy metals for the opposite attribute, in this case happens to be reverse, we can't make a magic upright strategy using three wishes. So in that case, we have to actually make a magic reverse strategy using three wishes. So in this case, the way we're going to do it is we're going to have stained glass number three in the first slot like I've shown right here. Uh, that's going to provide all, all the reverse for us as well we're gonna have key art beginnings right here copying stained glass number three and because of the fact that key art beginnings is a magic upright metal even when it becomes the copy when you use its special ability because the metal itself matches the slot attribute it's actually going to get the full multiplier of the slot it's in in this case slot two which ends up making the key art beginnings really strong right here for this reverse setup and then from there, you're going to have any magic reverse metal you want right here in slot three. Uh, your nominee metal is going to copy the reverse metal that's in slot five. And then from there, you just have a, another magic reverse metal in your spear slot or another uh, backwards copy metal if you really wanted to as well. So now if you're using Kyrie or Shion EX with one stained glass metal for three wishes, you're still going to be using a magic reverse setup and this is where things get a little bit interesting because of the fact that the first two slots are magic upright uh preferably you would want to use kairi ex in the first slot but if you don't have kairi ex you can still use shion ex if you really wanted to uh the only reason i would prefer kairi ex is obviously because it matches uh the first slots attribute being that they're both magic upright so it'll do a little bit more damage uh, unless you're like in Colosseum. Just like I kind of explained for the treasure trove on like the swap and whatnot, uh, you're going to have the stained glass number three right here in the second slot. So that way uh, you can make sure you get your max damage for the metal. And then the rest of the setup is honestly going to be almost the exact same thing. All right. So now if you're using two stained glass metals, four to three wishes, this one is a little bit the opposite because of the fact that both slots one and two are magic upright slots. Uh, and the fact that stained glass number three is a reverse metal, that means that he's going to be doing a little bit less damage no matter which of the two slots he's in. So to help make sure you get the most out of the setup, you want stained glass number three in the first slot with stained glass number one in the second slot. So that way stained glass number one can get the most damage uh, while also uh, mitigating the lack of damage that stained glass number three gives you. And because of the fact that stained glass number three provides all the reverse buffs and number one provides all the upright buffs, uh, it doesn't matter 
what metals you use for the rest of the keyblade. All right, so moving on to the Olympia. If you're using just one stained glass metal, uh, there's actually two different setups that you can use for the Olympia. These two setups just ends up com being completely dependent as to like uh, which type of metals you have. One of the two possible strategies you can use is a power upright strategy. And this would be the setup that you would use. Ideally, having Kingdom Hearts 2 Cloud EX Plus in slot 4 uh, would be the ideal uh, but you don't have to. The other setup that is also just about the exact same is going to be the speed upright setup. In this case, you would want to have Key Art 16 and HD Zack preferably. But again, it just completely depends on your metals. This metal right here in the first slot, the metal image coming soon, is going to be stained glass number 5, the speed upright stained glass. Uh, so that's, that's just what that is for a reference. Okay, so now if we're using a Kyrie Shion EX metal with a stained glass metal, the best setup is simply going to be if you have Kyrie or Shion EX in slot one, and then you have stained glass number three in your slot two. And the main reason for this is because of the fact that slot two is a power slot. Even though it's reverse, it's power. So you're matching the slot. And because of the fact that the stained glass is in the, is in the second slot, it's completing your caps and maxing out all of your debuffs necessary, which will help it do more damage compared to if it's just in slot one. And because of the fact that Kyrie and Shion EX give you the rest of the PSM buffs that you need, as well as PSM debuffs, uh, you can actually go through the entire setup using almost any metal you want uh you would want to preferably do a power upright strategy if possible because of the fact that you're not going to have uh the total amount of psm debuffs for the other attributes for speed uh, but you will have max debuffs for uh power upright now if you're using two stained glass metals for the olympia what you're going to actually end up wanting to do is use stained glass number five, which is the speed upright one, uh, that which is this metal image coming soon right there in the first slot. And then you'll have stained glass number four in the second slot. And the whole reason because for this is that you want the upright bust from stained glass number one uh, from the first slot. Because remember, the first slot's not really meant for damage, but if you can, that's great. So right here, we're still getting some of that speed that's getting uh that's matching the slot one attribute uh which we let it do a little bit of damage but because of the fact we're completely matching the attribute for the second slot with stained glass number four is going to be doing a lot more damage and then the rest of the setup you can just do whatever you want all right so going on to the next keyblade divine rose this is actually almost the exact same thing as the lady luck keyblade okay Actually, no, it's actually literally the exact same setup. The only difference is you're using the magic upright copy metals compared to the speed upright copy metals. Otherwise, the exact same thing. You're going to have the speed reverse stained glass metal, which I think is stained glass number six right here in the first slot. And then you'll have this one copying this slot. And then you'll have Namine copying the fifth slot. If you're using a Kyrie or Shion EX metal as well, it's the exact same thing as Lady Luck. Put it in the first slot, have the stained glass metal in the second slot, have the key art copy the stained glass metal, nominate copy the speed reverse, and yeah, it's, it's literally the exact same thing. Now if we're using two stained glass metals, again, it's almost the exact same thing as Lady Luck. The only difference this time is that we're using the magic upright version, which in this case is stained glass number one, uh, but we're still using the, the speed reverse stained glass in slot two. Uh, but otherwise, the rest of the setup is literally the exact same thing as Lady Luck. All right, so moving on to the Moogle of Glory. If you're using just one stained glass metal, this is the setup you're going to want to do. Because of the way that the Moogle of Glory is set up, you, you're pretty much forced to use a magic reverse strategy for the Moogle of Glory. Um, you don't really have any other choice, to be honest, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but in this case, you're going to have the stained glass number three in the first slot. You're going to have Key Art Beginnings copying it, uh, which will let it do more damage because Key Art Beginnings is a magic upright metal, which matches its slot in slot two, which is a magic upright slot. So even when it becomes a speed reverse metal when using its ability, the metal itself is a magic upright metal and will gain the slots multiplier for matching its attribute. Now, the most ideal metal that you want to have in slot four is going to be HD Vanitas EX Plus. So that way you can get those reverse debuffs, but you can use any metal you want. That's a magic reverse. This setup will do you just fine. Now, if we're using a Kyrie or Shion EX metal for the Moogle Glory with a stained glass metal, we're going to come into the same type of situ situation we had similar with the Olympia, which is where because of the fact that depending on the mode you're doing, you're going to want to actually swap your first two slots a little bit. Uh, in this case, you can have the stained glass number four 
be in slot 1, which matches its attribute, and then have Kyrie Shioni X, preferably Kyrie, in slot 2, which matches its attribute, and then from there, you can still have a Magic Reverse setup, because of the fact that the Stained Glass number 4 is going to provide all of the reverse buffs for you, as well as still providing general strength and general defense down debuffs as well. And then the Kyrie and Shion EX medal over here will provide the magic buffs and debuffs for you. Now the other setup that I recommend, and this one might honestly be slightly better just because of a couple things. Especially for Colosseum, this setup would actually be better. Uh, similar to what I was talking about for the Treasure Trove, uh, for the setups and whatnot, you would have the Kyra Shione X in slot 1, so that way it does no damage, but provides most of the buffs and debuffs. And then you would have your second metal be the Stained Glass metal to do the damage. And because of the fact the second metal in this case would be Stained Glass number 3, which is a magic uh, stained glass metal. It will provide the max buffs and debuffs for magic as well, which is needed for the magic reverse strategy for the rest of the Keyblade. Now, if we're using two stained glass metals for the Moogle Glory, this one's actually pretty cool and pretty interesting. Uh, obviously, you're going to match the first two slots attributes. So in this case, slot one is going to be stained glass number four and slot two is going to be stained glass number one. And the cool thing about this setup is because of the fact that uh, stained glass number one, I mean, stained glass number four over here is going to provide all of the reverse as well as all of the power buffs. Whereas the stained glass number one over here is going to provide all the upright and all of the magic buffs and debuffs. Okay, so in this case, uh, they kind of complement each other for the Moogle Glory. So Stained Glass number one, for example, is going to provide the magic buffs and debuffs for the third slot over here, but she's also going to provide the upright buffs for the fifth slot over here. Whereas Stained Glass number five is going to provide all of the power buffs and debuffs for slots three and five as well as providing all the reverse buffs for slots 3 and 4. So it's a really interesting dynamic right there. Okay, so on to the next Keyblade. For Sleeping Lion, if you're only using one stained glass metal, you're going to obviously want to try and go for a speed upright strategy for the Sleeping Lion. Now, realistically, uh, it doesn't matter. You could have the uh, HD Antiform Sora in slot 1 and then have the uh, Stained Glass Metal in slot 2 as well. Either one will do. The one with Antiform Sora might be better to be honest. Um, just keep in mind that for this setup that there's nothing you can really do too much about this third slot being reversed. Uh, you're much better you're honestly going to be much better off just putting a magic upright metal in that slot even though it's a reverse slot so that way at the very least you can take advantage of the upright buffs and the upright buffs the, uh, provided from the stained glass metal will actually help offset the damage you would be lacking for the uh, reverse slot right here. Now, if you're using a Kyrie or Shion EX metal with uh, one stained glass metal for Sleeping Lion, obviously you're going to want to put Kyrie and Shion EX in the first slot. So that way it does the main buffer and debuffer metal. And then that way it allows your stained glass metal in slot two, uh, fill out the rest of the debuffs that you need, as well as uh, it provides a lot of more damage. And of course, just like the last setup, uh, you're, minus, you're better off just putting a speed upright metal right there in the third slot instead of trying to use a speed reverse metal. Now, Sleeping Lion is actually one of the only two Keyblades in the game. We're using two stained glass metals. It's probably not the best option. So I have not included it in this setup. All right, so for the counterpoint, if we're using just one stained glass metal, this is a possible setup that you want to do. Uh, the only thing I want, I want you guys to keep in mind when using this setup, if you're using an HD Vanitas right here, is to make sure that whatever is in your third slot has general defense down debuffs so that way you can still cap out and max out your debuffs uh, when using this setup that's the only thing you got to keep in mind when using this otherwise this is this is kind of a no-brainer it's a it's a magic upright setup uh, so yeah you got you you're going for magic upright <laughs> and then honestly if you're using Kyrie Shion EX it's pretty similar like instead of HD Vanitas you're putting Kyrie Shion EX in slot 2 instead preferably Shion EX because it matches the attribute and of course if you're in Colosseum it might be a little bit better to actually swap the two uh, in which case your stained glass metal can do a lot more damage. And when you're using two stained glass metals for the counterpoint, uh, this one's fairly obvious. You're going to have stained glass number one in the first slot, and you're going to have stained glass number two in the second slot, just simply because they match the attributes. All right, so when talking about the Stroke of Midnight, uh, for all three categories, you're actually going to be focusing on a speed reverse strategy. Uh, that just ends up being 
the best because uh, if you don't, you are going to end up lacking damage on the speed reverse slot for slot 3. Which means that if you try the other setups in my spreadsheet, you'll end up lacking damage uh, most likely. Alright, so if you're using just one stained glass metal, uh, in this case, you're going to have the speed reverse stained glass metal in slot in slot one, which I believe is stained glass number six. Uh, then you're gonna have Namine copying slot three, which will become a slot uh, speed reverse metal. And same thing with key art beginnings, which will do the same thing. And then what you wanna do is have a speed reverse metal in the spirit slot, so that way when HD Shion copies it, she also becomes a speed reverse metal. Um, now, hopefully, you, what you would want to do is put a speed reverse metal in the third slot that has general defense down, so that way you can still max out the rest of your general defense uh debuffs uh when if possible otherwise the rest of the setup would be just fine and you can just go to town <laughs> if you're using a Kairi shion ex metal with the stained glass metal it's honestly gonna be almost the exact same thing you're gonna put Kairi shion ex in slot two and it's almost gonna be the exact same thing as the other setup and then if you're using two stained glass metals for the stroke of midnight uh it's fairly similar you're gonna have stained glass number one in slot two instead uh, you're still having the speed reverse metal in slot one throughout all three of these categories because remember you do want to focus on a speed reverse setup if possible but in order to maximize the damage in slot two we're using uh stained glass number one right here and we're also having the hd riku replica copy the power the magic upright slot right here in slot four uh so that way we can get the most out of the stained glass number one all right, so when looking at the Fenrir, uh, the Fenrir is going to pretty much be in almost the exact same situation as the Sleeping Lion, uh, uh, in which that's simply because of the fact of that there's only one reverse slot in the Keyblade, and it's pretty, like, it's in the later slots of the Keyblade. We're not going to have any uh, setup for two stained glass medals for the Fenrir. But if you're using just one stained glass medal for the Fenrir, uh, what you want to do is have stained glass number three in slot one and then you would have key art sky uh, copy it in slot two and then honestly you can use hd shion or hd riku replica for slot four either one uh would work it doesn't matter it just depends on what metal and what power upright metals you're using to be honest uh, if you're using kairi shion ex with the finger with just one stained glass metal uh, instead, just like kind of like the previous Keyblades, you're going to put Kairi X in the first slot with Stained Glass number 3 in the second slot, so that way you can get the most damage out of it. And again, you can just use either HD Shion or HD Riku Replica for slot 4. Alright, so moving on to the Dark Gnaw. Uh, and honestly, this is actually my personal favorite, uh, simply because it's the only reverse uh, Keyblade in the game that actually has the necessary amount of copy metals to actually make it completely viable uh, to use, no matter the situation. Um, but if you're using just one stained glass metal, uh, this is basically the, be, going to be the setup they're gonna wanna use. You use stained glass number four in the first slot with key art sky in the second slot to fully copy it. And then you can just use whatever uh, else, like power reverse metals you want. If you're using Kairi Shion EX with the Dark Gnaw, uh, with one stained glass metal, you're going to have Kairi Shion EX in the second slot uh, with stained glass number four, obviously in the first slot to match its attribute. Um, however, just like with the previous Keyblades, depending on the situation, such as with like Colosseum and whatnot, it may be best to actually swap the two. Uh, so that way the stained glass number four can actually do more damage and you'll let the uh, Kairi Shion EX do almost no damage whatsoever for the first slot, um, but still provide the main buffs and debuffs that you need. And of course, I hope this one would be obvious, but if you're using two stained glass metals for the Dark Gnaw, uh, you're going to have stained glass number four in the first slot and stained glass number three in the second slot, just because they match the attribute. And you can still just use whatever power reverse metals uh, for the rest of the Keyblade. Alright, so now for the next Keyblade, Missing Ache. It's literally going to be the exact same thing as the Dark Gnaw. Uh, all of the reverse Keyblades are going to be the exact same thing. But just to kind of reiterate, you're going to have the Speed Reverse cop uh, Stained Glass Metal right here in the first slot. And then you're going to have Key Art begin uh, Bonds copy it uh, to max out the buffs and debuffs. Uh, as well as it'll do a little bit more extra damage because it is actually maxing out the debuffs in uh, slot 2. And then for the rest of the Keyblade, you can just use whatever 
uh, speed reverse metals that you want. And just like Dark Knot, if you're using a Kairi Shioni X with a stained glass metal, you're going to want to put the Kairi Shioni X in the second slot. But depending on the situation, such as like for Colosseum and whatnot, you might want to actually swap the two. Uh, so that way your stained glass metal can actually do more damage when against the higher end of uh, the stages in Colosseum. And then, of course, if you're using two stained glass metals, you're going to want to use the ones that match their attributes for the first two slots. So in this case, you're going to use the speed reverse stained glass metal in slot one and the speed upright stained glass metal in slot two. All right, so for the next Keyblade, we're actually going to be talking about the Diamond Dust first instead of the Fairy Stars, simply because there's a lot of uh, setups for the Fairy Stars. So we're just going to make it easy and go with the Diamond Dust. Diamond Dust is the exact same thing as Missing Ake and Dark Gnaw. You're going to have the Stained Glass number 3 in first slot to match its attribute, and then you're going to have Key Art Beginnings in second slot to copy it, uh, which will help it let it do more damage and max out your debuffs and whatnot. And then for the rest of the Keyblade, you can just use Power uh, Magic Reverse Metals. Just like the other two Keyblades, if you're using Kyrie Shion EX with a one stained glass metal, uh, you're going to have Kairi Shioni X in the second slot. But against modes like in Colosseum or really hard enemies and whatnot, it might be better to actually swap the two so that way your stained glass metal can actually do more damage since it will be filling out the rest of the debuffs needed for the setup. And of course, if you're using two stained glass metals with the diamond dust, you want to use stained glass number two in the first slot and stained glass number one in the second slot just because they match their attributes. And from there, you can use whatever other magic reverse metals in the Keyblade that you want. All right, so last but not least, for the Fairy Stars, if you're using one stained glass metal for the Fairy Stars, uh, there's actually one of two different setups that you can use for the Fairy Stars, and it just kind of depends on which metals you actually end up having. But one of the two strategies you can use for the Fairy Stars with one stained glass metal is a power reverse strategy, in which case you would have stained glass number four in the first slot, uh, which even though the first slot is a magic I mean, even though the first slot is a power upright slot, uh, it will still get the power benefit of the slot. And same thing goes with the uh, copy metal that's right here in the second slot with key art beginnings copying this. Uh, because of the fact that even though the second slot is a magic reverse slot, it will still get the benefit of the magic buff from the, uh, from the slot itself. And also keep in mind that the first two slots are not meant for damage. However, if you do, that is... Uh, that's just icing on the cake and the rest of the setup is just simply focused around uh, Using copy metals to copy the power reverse slot in slot 4 uh, The second possible setup that you can use for the fairy stars with one stained glass metal is actually a magic upright setup Now the fact that we have HD Riku replica in the game now uh, we can actually use this strategy where uh, we can just completely copy this magic upright slot in slot three um, we have stained glass number one in the first slot and then we can just have hd anti form star copy a magic uh upright metal in the spirit slot um, the only thing you want to keep in mind when using this setup is the fact that you want to try and make sure that whatever metal that you put in the slot three has a general defense down debuff on it uh, so that way you can make sure that you cap out on the general defense down debuffs uh, that you're missing because remember stained glass metals only provide a minus four general defense down debuff whereas the cap for it is minus seven so getting three more general defense down debuffs is absolutely necessary for a setup like this now if you're using a Kyrie shion ex metal with the fairy stars with one stained glass metal this is going to be the best setup that you can want to that you want to use uh, and this is actually my setup in the game right now too in which case uh, you would have stained glass number two in the second slot, which makes sense since it matches the attribute. It is a magic reverse slot. So it's going to get the full benefit of that slot and let it do full damage or almost full damage. Okay. And just like before, it doesn't matter if you use Kairi or Shion EX in slot one. Uh, it's just simply there to provide the rest of the PSM uh, buffs and debuffs that we need. In which case, this is going for like a power reverse setup and Kairi and Shion EX is going to provide the power uh, buffs and debuffs for us for this setup and last but not least if you're using two stained glass metals for the fairy stars uh, this one should be a little bit obvious but you're going to use the ones that match the first two slots attributes which is going to be stained glass number three in the first slot and then stained glass number two in the second slot and just like with the moogle of glory uh, i really like how this works out for fairy stars because stained glass number two over here provides all of the magic and reverse buffs for us as well as stained glass number three over here 
provides all of the power and upright buffs for us. So what ends up happening is stained glass number three over here provides all the power buffs and debuffs that the fourth slot is going to need, as well as provide all of the upright buffs that the second slot is going to need. And stained glass number two is going to provide all of the magic buffs and debuffs that stain that uh, slot three is going to need, while also providing all of the reverse buffs that slot four is going to need. And because of the fact that neither of that neither of these medals are speed medals, you're going to want to put a speed copycat medal in the fifth slot, uh, whether it be copying the fourth slot or if you're using HD Anti Form Sora, copying the spirit slot. And make sure to use either a magic or power uh, medal for the spirit slot. It can be reverse or upright, doesn't matter because you have both in within the first two slots. Whew. <laughs> All right, that was it for today, guys. I hope this ends up helping out. I know this is a very long video. That's why I made sure to leave the timestamps in the description down below. Uh, but I hope this helps out. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I put a lot of effort into making these videos for you guys. As well as even just sharing it with your friends would like honestly really mean a lot to me and just help me out in general. Um, I really need to get to a thousand subscribers so I can finally start monetizing my content. And actually start making money off this so I can like, you know, make a living off this. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.